What's going on Scorpio? How are you doing? I hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for August 2022. So in this reading Scorpio, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides regarding August 2022. But before we begin this reading Scorpio, I want to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading and I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now if this general reading happens to resonate with you Scorpio, definitely smash that like button, subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. That would also be greatly appreciated appreciated over here. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this reading and see what it is that would like to come through for you for August 2022. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides for overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Scorpio. All right. All right. All right, Scorpio, let's go ahead and lay out the cards and see what it is that wants to come through for you. Okay, Scorpio, okay, very interesting information here. Um, it seems to me like there's a, there's a situation in your life that there's an opportunity presenting itself that you want to go in, but there's almost, there, there could be a lot of shade around this that it's so dark that you don't even wanna look at. This could be, um, a, this very well could be a past person coming back into your life that there was a lot of there was a lot of uh, you know darkness within their relationship that it scares you, even though deep down you want to give it a try. This could also be if it's not a person, there's something coming back into your reality with gusto. It's something that you tried to ice out for a very long time, and it's it's something that very well could disturb what you know the status quo or the routine that you're in in your life. It's something that may disturb what is going on here for you. But there's a, there's at least an opportunity to look at this and to consider it and to not give up on it immediately because there's the spirit's telling me to tell you there's some, you know, there's an opportunity whether this is a past person coming back or, you know, a new opportunity, a hobby that you used to love to do that maybe you got shamed for it or maybe there was a negative ending when you were younger. There's something where if you cannot taint it with negativity and you cannot heap negativity onto this thing coming in in August and we'll get into what it is, like it can really improve your life. So I don't know, let's go ahead and get into this. Your opportunity, Scorpio, is the king of cups here. So there could be someone coming in um, with a lot of love for you. A lot of you could be connecting to someone in love, a king of cups, someone who's very, uh, you know, understanding, compassionate. There's also something about forgiveness. There's also someone could, who could be coming in to forgive you from the past. You could also be being called to forgive someone and rehash something out or to forgive yourself. Like, it's almost like there's an opportunity that you missed here, Spirit's telling me, in your life that because you because you, you feel like you blew it, you're, you're not, you, you can't forgive yourself. So you're like, no, I'm destined for the the slums now. I'll never go back to that opportunity or that person now because it, it's like, 
I behaved so badly in the past. Like the King of Cups is forgiveness. There's someone, the universe is here to forgive you and to be gentle with yourself. You know, the King of Cups is the King of love, you know, the King of emotions. So it could be a very emotional month. You also have the Page of Swords here in your challenge here. So the Page of Swords in your challenge is I just see you like backing out of something before you get the necessary information or like not really garnering the necessary information like about something in your life. I don't know what this is. We're going to have to clarify, but it seems here, Scorpio, in your overall general energy, um, you have the eight of wands, you have the nine of wands, and you also have the devil here. So there's a lot of speed about some sort of unfinished business that's very traumatic to you coming up and it comes up in your face. This is something here, Scorpio, to do with, uh, I, I feel like it's something that you really want to do that you may be kind of just once again, you, you may be giving it a bad name. This could be someone who wants to come in come back into your life that you're like, oh no, like we're done, we're done because of X, Y, or Z. Meanwhile, it's not the case. But you're just judging it too quickly. The page of swords here in your challenge, you also have the devil here. Now, to be fair, some of you may be dealing with someone who you're not really interested in and love here, and that's fine, but you just have to know which side of the fence you're on here. There could be a, you know, the page of swords in your challenge. It is like a stalker. It could be someone that you don't want to deal with here that is coming back to haunt you. Okay. And it's coming in very fast. Now in uh, what you don't see coming, you have the king of pentacles, you have the two of swords, and you also have the 10 of wands here. So there could be a very grounded, I'm telling you a fast offer that just appears like it's, it's, it's amazing, yet it's devilish. You're afraid to get your heart broken about this. There's something to be said about that. You have the king of pentacles, two of swords, 10 of wands. Like there's something really, it feels like a lot. It feels like too much. You just want to shut it down and it's grounded in physical reality. It's almost like a new pathway opens up for you, but you want to be careful not to just like give up on this because of hurt. Like a lot of you are shutting down because of you've been hurt by this opportunity in the past. Like a lot of you, it could literally be something like a video game, like, or, or it could literally be something like you wanted to be like a world championship, like, uh, like tennis player. And like literally like now the universe is saying, hey, pick up the tennis racket because you love to do it. Or there could be someone who broke your heart in the past who just wants to like reenter your life and have a good time with you. And you're so guarded against something that could actually be fun because the devil here, some people like it, some people don't because the devil also represents sexuality. So there could be a very like, I don't know. Now in what you, uh, in your um, advice from your spirit guides, you have the three of swords, you have the page of pentacles and you also have the eight of pentacles here. I'm really telling you, Scorpio, there's an opportunity here for you to maybe, um, to, to give something a shot to work on something that you once shut out. Whether this is a relationship coming back, there's something about forgiveness here in the present moment, forgiving yourself for not going with this opportunity in the past, forgiving yourself for how this went in the past. The page of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is to work on something. It's to be willing to take, to look at a position from fresh eyes. You know, the page is someone who's willing to do the dirty work, to look at all the negative places that you didn't want to look at. There's something here about you not wanting to look look at something. And if you don't look at something, that's when you end up getting hurt or you get caught up in distortion, right? The page of swords is here. It's either you're not even considering an opportunity. And when you don't consider it, it's like you're, you're compartmentalizing it. You're saying, no, that's not good enough for me. Or this opportunity, I already blew that. Like, let's just, let's just forget about it. But you know, there's something to be said here about a very exciting thing, but you're just really, the three of swords is here to let you know, like, I think you've been hurt by this in the past and so you're not willing to work on it. Now, whether or not you, I, I don't even like, wow. Let's go ahead and clarify, uh, Scorpio. Why is this eight of wands here in your overall general energy? Like what's coming in very fast for you? There's communication here, potentially with a past person, you know, about wanting to get together. They forgive you, but you know, you may be very shook by this or there's, there's a synchronistic thing that's like, hey, you used to love to play video games. You used to want to be a video game master of the world. It's like, here's a controller again. And you're like, hey, no, it hurt me before. Why would I want to do that again? Because you love it, because you love this person, because there's an opening here. But it's like, if you just shut it down too quick, well, I don't know. There's something here about working, building, having a conversation that you may not be willing to have. Or the roles could be reversed, right? But uh, something about like in real life, like just there's a 
I'm sorry, one more. Sometimes it happens. Why is the why is the eight of wands here for Scorpio in your overall general energy? The eight of wands is clarified by the king of swords, the knight of wands, and also the knight of pentacles here for you. So yeah, there's definitely, this is, I feel like this has to do with a person now. You know, I really do feel like that for you. This is someone who could be coming off a little bit cold, like, hey, Scorpio, like what's going on? Like king of swords, you could be dealing with an air sign. You could be dealing with someone who was very cold to you in the past. I am getting that, the king of swords here. Now you have the knight of wands and also the knight of pentacles. So this is something that, um, I feel like there's a, there's a building here. There's an excitement, you know, the night's all about messages as well, you know, messages coming your way. And the eight of wands is all about communication. So you could receive like in August, especially in the beginning of August, you very well could receive Scorpio, a message from someone, a past person that you didn't really expect to have happen. It brings up all these emotions in you. But what I'm telling you with your opportunity is to forgive someone. It's to work something out at the very least Scorpio. Like there's an opportunity for like, for you and this person to talk about things, to like maybe hash out the past. But if you just kind of like ice it out, it's almost like, it's almost like you're going to get to the end of your life and be like, remember, like you should have probably went with that opportunity because this is a person that wants to talk to you. Um, if you happen to be more masculine Scorpio, you can reverse the roles. There's a person coming back that you had a falling out with, I'm getting. It was really bad too, like really bad. And um, you just don't want to be hurt again, which is understandable. Let's go ahead and see, Scorpio, why the King of Cups is your opportunity. Because I feel like this is like forgiveness. I feel like this is someone who's understanding. I feel like this is an evolution that happened here um, that you may not really be seeing. Okay. King of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and also the Four, the Five of Cups here. So there's someone here who, you, I'm telling you, you had a bad falling out with this individual, but now there's an opportunity for you to talk about the sadness, what went wrong here in the past, but maybe not even that. There's an opportunity to like to see, do you want to invest in the future? This Three of Wands and the Seven of uh, Pentacles, all about optimism and investment and like really seeing the fruits of your labor growing. So I feel like there's someone who worked on themselves here. I feel like there's a... Uh, I feel like there's a lot going on between this. Like, there's a very special connection going on here. Let's clarify why the Page of Swords is here in what in your challenge. Why is the Page of Swords here in your challenge, Scorpio? This is either someone who's like a little bit too upfront and like stalking you, or for like the vast majority of you, it's you not really being even open to this. It's like someone texts you, you just ignore it, like you know something like that. Even though it could really change your life, and it could at the very least clear some energy up, you know, you know, like, all right, why is the page of swords here? Some of you could be in a relationship already. And so that's why this is causing you a lot of pain because it's almost like, you know, it brings up questions of loyalty, which is understandable. I don't even know what to tell you to do about that. But it's like, you're not like starting off in a relationship with this person coming back, right? You're just talking. So, um, The Page of Swords in your challenge is clarified by the Page of Wands, the Death card, and also the Hierophant here, okay? So I really feel like there's, um, in your challenge here, you could not be seeing something here. The Death card to the Hierophant here with the Page of Swords, I really feel like there was a big ending between you and this person or whatever this was. What, once again, I was picking up on a hobby, like a, the tennis racket, like the video games were coming into my head. Like there was something that you almost thought like you were in a committed relationship with. It came to an ending. And basically the fun that was once in this past thing now coming back in August is basically you're not seeing the fun. You're not seeing the bright side of this person. You're not seeing the bright side of this hobby um, or these people that can give you the hobby. Like there's something here about maybe a missed opportunity taking place in the present moment that really it could be worked on. Now I see a bunch of different problems because like 
you're also struggling with questions of like, um, you could have other things going on that simply you have no time for this new thing coming back. But really, like, that's bullshit. When someone says like, I don't have time for this or I don't have time for that, like, if you wanted to, you could make time. Like, come on. So let's see why, um, why is the 10 of wands here in what you don't see coming? This is something like, wow, like someone comes, like there's something physically in your life it seems like, wow, like it's just bringing up a lot of mixed emotions I'm getting. So why is the Ten of Wands here for Scorpio and what you don't see coming? It's right underneath the Devil uh, and it's right underneath the Eight of Pentacles. So why is the Ten of Wands here for Scorpio? Ten of Wands is clarified by the Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, and also the Ace of Pentacles here. So yeah, there's an offer here that is, seems very shady to you to get together in physical reality, whether this be with this rejuvenated hobby, this long lost love with this person, like you can't really read this person's motivations and you're really scared to get hurt. What I'm telling you, Scorpio, is the person coming back, I don't think they wanna hurt you. The King of Cups is your opportunity here. And um, it's to work on something here. So you have the Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles here. And it's interesting, you would also have the Five of Swords, the same card and what you don't see coming. So this really could be, you know, you sabotaging yourself here um, and like being very guarded. Like you see how like this person, like it's all about destruction. You're not really, you're so focused on the past that you can't see the present fully. It's almost like... Okay, if you know SpongeBob, it's literally like the episode of Hash Slinging Slasher. You know, like pretty much for those of you who don't know it, like there's someone here who people made out to be a monster in their head. Meanwhile, like when it was dark, they were like, oh my God, it's this monster who's coming back to hurt me. Meanwhile, when they turned on the lights, it's literally this like innocent guy with like a spatula like in his hand. Like there's literally someone who wants to be your friend. I don't think they are even taking this as seriously as you're making it out to be. They just want to have fun with you. And whether you want to do that or not is up to you. I feel like there's been a maturity here. There's been a growing here. And I feel like there's a lot of pain that needs to be addressed here. Like for you and there's a working on the pain there's a there's a deep talk there's karma you you have the potential to clear karma here scorpio in a way with a person or a hobby or just to do it look at it in the face do it even if you just do it and then you're like okay well this is yeah i just wanted to talk and then see it that's enough but if you devil it out you know and you're like oh, no like no, like, I don't know if that's going to be it. So whether you want to do this, I don't really know, Scorpio, but uh, I appreciate you. This is your energy for August that I'm picking up on. This is the Autistic Mystic. I'll talk to you next time.